Tractor beams are real, but this one isn't made of light. So here's the weird question. How do you tow a dead satellite without touching it? In this story, tractor beam means electric forces, electrostatic towing, not lasers. If you've ever seen static electricity pull things, like a balloon sticking to hair, that's the basic idea, but controlled and engineered for space. And the reason anyone cares? Up in geostationary orbit, geo, space is prime real estate. Dead satellites can't steer, but they still take up a slot. The proposal is a servicer spacecraft that flies near a defunct satellite and uses an electric field to gently tug it, without docking, so it can be moved or repositioned. Important, this is a promising concept, not a routine cleanup system already operating in orbit. Compared to grabbing something with a robot arm, or throwing nets or harpoons, non-contact towing could be simpler for certain targets, but the details depend on the object and the mission. And the hard part isn't the sci-fi name, it's control. You'd need to pull without making the target spin, drift unpredictably, or become more dangerous. So the real cliffhanger is, can you control that invisible tow rope precisely enough to use it safely? But here's the payoff. A real tractor beam doesn't need light at all. If electrostatic towing works the way researchers hope, it could help move dead satellites without docking and make certain kinds of space cleanup more scalable. If you love mind-bending science, subscribe to SciBite Insights for more.